Let us see. I'm Cynthia Ridgeway and welcome back to my channel. We have a motivation video cleaning video for you today on a Sunday. It is a three day weekend and with everybody home tomorrow and everybody out today. I took advantage of that time and we got cleaned up. If you're new here, thank you so much for dropping by and checking me out. I am a homemaker, mama too, and a wife and a photographer and I love to do TikTok. If you are new, please consider looking for that subscribe word down below and clicking on it. Thank you to everyone who supports me each and every day. We are up in views again. I'm so excited. Thank you so much for everybody's support. I uploaded a quick video on easy DIY egg McMuffins this morning that you can make at home. So check that out. I'll put that link in my description box down below with a bunch of other links where you can hyper jump over to Facebook to our group as well as my page, my photography page, and my TikTok account. If you want to follow me on all social media, media formats that's awesome and we're also on Pinterest at let us eat cooking and family with over 40,000 recipes pinned we have a giveaway happening when we get to 900 we're going to issue out two ten dollar Dollar Tree gift cards we love the Dollar Tree here we do lots of Dollar Tree hauls and we clean and organize with the Dollar Tree and their products one for new subscribers one for people comment all that information is always in my description box down below with my email for you to ask me questions if you have anything that you'd like to talk to me about, feel free to email me and I'll get back to you at my earliest convenience. I like to be in touch with my community, so feel free to comment all the time. And I really appreciate the ones that do that I consider family. With that said, please like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to tap the bell. Let's get cleaning. My family just left to go to get air, and I didn't sleep very well last night, so I staying home. And we're going to do a clean with me video and get it cleaned up, because tomorrow is a holiday, and the kids will be home, so I will not be able to clean tomorrow. I've got an empty green laundry basket. Floors need attention. I took care of the critter last night. I'll check on her cage later today. I change it every couple of days. If it's really cold out, I'll change it multiple times a day. No more than two. The floors, the couch is going Wednesday or Thursday, depending on when the truck arrives with our new sofa that we ordered. We got an Ashley and company. This bed, it needs serious attention. We're going to start in my tween's room and get the bed made. Get the computer put onto the desk. And the prank gift picked up. Let's get this bed made here. This is the sunniest room in my apartment. It's mostly window. Jacqueline really likes the Kool-Aid gum that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. If I happen to see it again, I may grab it for her. I'll make sure the gift is off the bed when we make it. Jacqueline had a prank set up for her, but it didn't work, so she couldn't bring it. Make sure none of the devices or where they can fall and get broken. when my kid eats on the bed because they can be messy at times. Tuesday I'll be doing bed sheets. Get all the creases out. Make sure the drawers are shut. I have a bowl to bring to the sink. You have the trash can and replace the bag. All the rooms need sweeping. I did not clean yesterday. It was bitter cold out. I didn't feel like doing much. We just kept the kitchen in order as best as we could with all the dinner prep and everything. Make sure her devices are charged and ready when they get home. 
in the transmission part. There's all kinds of things to do at Good Air. It's a great thing to do when you have cabin fever. I'm going to get the floor swept up now. It was negative 19 overnight. The moon was full, I believe, too. It was big and beautiful. Into the TV room, gonna get it swept. It's not too bad in here. My kids been in the room and I'm up here. I will be doing a full cleaning video of the room later this week before the couch gets here. So it's nice and clean for the couch. Onto the couch. I'm gonna flip it out. Good. I'm gonna put the book back. And sweep the dining area, wipe the table down. We're gonna have an iron for dinner tonight. Let's dump it out the dust panel here. Wipe off the dinner table first. Always stay hydrated when you're cleaning.
piece of water to put away for your today. Table will be moved all the way to the left or the right so the couch can come up. Yesterday, in between my videos, I visited Cohoes Falls, which I posted a short clip about. It was frozen, slightly running. Let's get sweeping in the Dining area here. So I hit a thousand followers on TikTok. I'm pretty stoked about that. I'll start going live there with cooking and cleaning demos. Line Dollar Tree Holes. A lot of dust. And the windows are shut. And we don't get that much traffic. Usually just in the mornings and in the evenings a little bit. And in some days there's like next to no traffic. I'm going to focus on the bed after I do a quick sweep. I get my teen's bed made. I'm going to do a nice sweep in my bedroom as well as make our bed so it's made when my family comes back from get air. Let's make Isabel's bed now. Drag him down. We finished filling out our college application for RPI, which is a very prestigious engineering school in New York State. Be careful with the edge of the bed here. I'm not whacking my arm and leg. Isabel's been keeping things off her closet floor. Awesome. I thought they would have been done with dolls, but they still like their video game dolls. Keep the dolls organized and they won't look cluttery.
Those are the Dollar Tree lamps that I found in Massachusetts. I have not been able to find in New York. I'm glad I got two of them. I have one for Jacqueline's room, too. Little white lamp sticking out there. Into the bathroom here. Let's try it this way. I had some bad angles the last time we did this. I have my cloths already ready here. Not seem to put away. Because it's in a tight order, order of the bathroom here with no room whatsoever to go anywhere other than your feet right in front of you as you sit down. This is looking good still. Grab the clean cloth for the seat of the toilet. Just by going my comet. Let's see how well this works here. Sprayed it with my Dollar Tree Totally LA Orange. I don't like this old toilet at all. I hate it. When I have my house, I'm going to get a new toilet and a new bathtub and everything. There. I did the side here. I did it last. Boy, that looks a lot better than it did. Clean toilet. Before we go into the kitchen, we're going to wash my hands up. Mirror still looks really good. I don't need to do that. Let's go into the kitchen and put some dishes away and wash what's First in the thing sink. thing I'm going to do is just sweep in here. The garbage will be taken out after dinner tonight. So I've got a chance to get full all the way. Anything with food in it, we don't leave it overnight. I don't have a garbage disposal in this old house. I think my kids have a three hour jump today. They got a bonus hour for purchase. And then they're going to McDonald's for lunch. My V shaped countertop, I call it, or 
more of an L shape. It all depends on how you look at it because it extends a little further down. So it's like a capital L. This has got to go back downstairs for my birds. I'll be doing videos on how to use an air fryer soon because we picked one up. And we're going to do it with some air fryer chicken. on the stove top for a minute before I get them put away. Catherine doesn't like my mug space saver under the cabinet or I have the mugs here so I try to leave the mug out so it's easy for her to get so she can be more self-efficient. washed up. I'm going to use some hot soapy water here. I'm going to while it's heating up. Wash it with some hot soapy water. Get all the crumbs off from breakfast. I did a quick video on I made English muffins with eggs and cheese. Kind of like to make muffins. At this time, I'm going to get rid of my cutting board I've had for about 25 years. It's starting to not come clean. Just did the dish rack, so I'm not washing that. Hopefully, it won't fall. There we go. I'm going to rinse it a little bit because it looks a little discolored. I'm going to get a clean towel so we can get all the soap off the counter. Clean for five o'clock from the Dollar Tree. They work really well. They usually come in a two pack in the cleaning section. Just for a second, I'm going to take this. Rinse out. 
got the utensil holder here. And wipe underneath this. Keep it clean. Funny how dirty things that you put clean dishes and get so dirty. Organic. It's a pain in the butt and I forget how it goes a lot. That goes there. Just make sure all the little grooves don't have any water stains on it. Perfect. I did it for the first try. I'm getting better at it. Let's wipe the sides off here. One more rinsing of the countertop here. I'm going to wash the dishes real quick and then we're going to wash the sink. I have a new soapy sponge. We're going to soap the sink and get that scrubbed and cleaned up. And I took the racks out of the stove because we're going to do the oven today with some hot soapy water. And one more soap here. Give your sink a nice blather of soap. Sponge for the oven there. If you have these food captures and you don't have a garbage disposal, make sure you wash them out too. You can also be, as you can see here, kind of a hard angle. the best of your ability here. Nothing more satisfying than a hose on the plate. We'll be doing a vinegar baking soda rinse. And my husband, when he puts things away, he gets pushed back into the black hole or something. And then I can't find them from it. hot water with a stove in the oven. And since I've been using my oven a lot, we're going to do a good wiping out today with hot soapy water. And I'll use the oven cleaner soon. On a day I crock pot. Last thing we're going to do is sweep the bedroom and make the bed in there and then do a final walkthrough.
focus on the oven first. Grab the towel to wipe out the soap and just sponge to the top. I just did this right before the holidays, so I'm not overly embarrassed to show you. Always do the hot plates and the counter or the coffee maker. My husband's already done the coffee maker today. Just make sure there's no sugar on the coffee grounds behind anything. too high up. It's going to have to come down a little. I rarely use both racks at the same time. When you rent, everything is old and pre-damaged, or pre-dirty, or pre-yucky. Now we're going to focus on the microwave. Another clean, hot, soapy sponge. In the microwave, and I'll just rinse out the microfiber cloth, get all the soap out. Rinse the microwave plate here. You should do this at least twice a week in between cooking it on it, or especially if you cooked it without any kind of plate on the actual microwave plate. So it doesn't get disgusting and smell. Gonna rip this off and let it dry. Let's get it cleaned up. All the soap. This is not my microwave, it came with the apartment. That's why I keep it so nice. I mean, if it was mine, I'd still keep it nice, but when we move out, it will be one less thing that they need to worry about. It's 
on to the last bedroom. It's been a while since we've done all three bedrooms here. This is my husband watches TV in here and works in here during the day, Monday through Friday. So I don't get to really clean it during the day, except for a quick spot check with sweeping, and he makes the bed throughout the day because he likes to watch TV in here. Next week, I'll be binge watching TV shows I want to catch up on because of the new sofa coming from Ashley and Company. side of the room is gross. It's his responsibility to pick up after himself. Down. I want to pick up a few things while he's not here. Move your seats. Need to be in the top drawer here. back here. This wall needs to be washed, which he's going to do himself. Maybe we'll do a cleaning video like when we deep clean in the spring in here after a rough winter. over so he could groom. I don't know how much of the floor you're going to see, but at least you can see me sweeping in here. Very small bedrooms in these very old homes.
good as it's going to get. Dump that out in that can. Wednesday's trash day is all trash. Between now and Tuesday, we'll be going out to the recycle bin and throw out the garbage can. And we have a made bed. And we swept and made the bed in here. I just organized this little mess on the table a little bit. Did both sides. As you can see, there's really no floor space. We've done the kitchen in here with the floor sweeping. Scrubbed the countertop. These gonna be hung up to dry so they go in tomorrow's wash. The garbage can will be taken care of after dinner tonight. We washed off the stove together. Microwave plate is drying, and we washed out the microwave. We swept in the dining area, did the table, the TV area. We're going to do a full TV area clean this week before the couch comes. I'm going to put that sweater away in a minute and dump out the garbage can in the corner. The floors are swept. I'll be decanning that case of water. Laundry is ready to go downstairs tomorrow. Isabel's room is swept and the bed made. And the bathroom's done. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and watching me all the way to the end. We did a motivation Monday video for Sunday. We got cleaned up. And I'll do spot cleanings on Monday throughout the day. So when Tuesday rolls along, it won't be so bad. And with the wintry mix and the snow I'm getting, Tomorrow with the frigid air blast, I'm sure it's going to get very messy in here quick once my family's home for the day from get air. Don't forget about the giveaways. When we hit 900, we're going to issue out two $10 Dollar Tree gift cards. I'm still waiting for Missy to respond to me about the cutting board. I haven't announced a new winner yet, but if she doesn't by this afternoon, I will be answering with a video of a new winner of the cutting board. I'll be sure to include a photo at the end of this video so you can see what it looks like. They're really cute from the Dollar Tree with little country sayings on them. Don't forget to share this to your favorite social media site and with your friends and family. And please give this video a big thumbs up. It will certainly help me out. Don't forget to smash on that subscribe button down below. And the bell is extremely important because it will let you know when I've uploaded a new video so you won't miss a thing.